Okay, I'm going to start a whole series on um, electric grooves and um, 16th note grooves and we're going to um, uh, start simple and then I'll get more and more complex and more syncopated as we go. Um, the first thing I want to do is give you um, a, a chord to play. We're going to play an E flat 9 chord. Uh, so there's nothing on the 6th string. And uh, then it's going to be 6th fret, 5th fret, 6, 6, 6. And the way we play that is our 2nd finger, 1st finger, and then lay down our 3rd finger for those. And the reason I chose that is so that when we're muting, we're going to squeeze the chord and we're going to spend a lot of time um, muting the strings with our hands. We don't get any harmonics when we play this chord for the most part. Here, different different chords I hear harmonics, but E flat seems to be about the cleanest when I'm just doing just doing the strumming part. Okay. So now um, what we're going to start out is just doing the strumming and um, we won't do it with click. I just want to do um, 16th notes and we're going to mute the strings. So we're just going to get that dead sound and we're going to do 16th notes and 4-4 and four, four, uh, time. And so when you count 16th notes in 4-4, four, four, it's 1 E and uh, 2 E and uh, 3 E and uh, 4 E and uh. And so we're going to be going down up on each one of those. So it's like this 1 and uh, 2 E and uh, 3 E and uh, 4 E and uh, 1 E and uh, 2 E and uh, 3 E and uh, 4 E and uh. Just like that. Boring, not very interesting. Uh, but through a wah wah, you can do some cool stuff with it, or, you know, if you, you know, faster. Put different accents. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing with the click. I set the click at 92. You could go slower if you want. Set, you know, go down to 80, 78, somewhere in there, um, and um, that would be, um, you might want to set your click to eighth notes, though, because it'd be a lot of, at, at 70, 75, 80, there's a, more space in between the notes. Um, okay, so now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to squeeze on the downbeats, um, just on one, two, three, and four, so it's going to be like this, one E and uh, two E. Now at 92 with the click. It's harder to hear the click when you're doing the, the squeeze, squeezing the chord. So you see what I'm doing there? When I want the chord, I squeeze and then I let up right away. Because when you're do, moving your hand here, you could you could mute with your right hand, but you're not going to get the full range of motion strumming, and you're not going to get the feel you would get from strumming. The, the muting actually is happening over here in the left hand. Okay. So let's try that again. Okay. Now let me turn up the click a little bit. Let me see where is that. Um, now we're gonna we're gonna try we're gonna squeeze on the and. So it's uh, we're gonna go one e and a, two e and a, three e and a, four e and a. And it's real important to play with a click on this because that you'll know where one two three four is. The real temptation is is to, is to lose track of where you're squeezing, and then it ends up becoming uh, one two three four instead of the and of one two three four. So it's real easy to get kind of turned around. So let me. Uh, Two, three, four. Pass. Okay, 
So that is with the squeezes, okay, with the chords on the end of the beat. Now it's going to get a little more difficult because now we're going to do um, on the E of the beat. One E end, a two E end, a three E end, a four E end. Slower like this. And so now the squeeze is going to come on an upstroke, okay? So this is what it's like. Uh, so it's one, two, is it one, two, three, four. Ah. Those are the ones that practice so far, and I'm going to, um, I'll tab these out. Oh, you know, I don't know if I can do it. I'll, I'll try to tab them out on, um, on Finale. I think I can change the note head. I don't know if I have that version of Finale, but I um, will put maybe some kind of notation up on the, um, up on my blog, so you can check that out. Um, otherwise, I can, I can do some typewriter notation. Okay, so here at the tempo, so here's the strum. Maybe start like that and count one E and the two E and the three E and the four. And then when you get to the E, that's when you're going to squeeze one, two, three. It's much easier to feel than to think. <laughs> it's just, once you've got it, you've got it. It's like you may have to slow it way down to get it and then it's slowly speed it up. But once you have it, it's no problem. Three, four. Okay. Now that leaves us with one more, one more placement to place in of, of the one E and does. With the uh, four different spots, we've done the downbeat, one, two, three, four. We've done the and of each beat, and we've done the e of each beat. Now we're going to do the uh of each beat. So one e and uh, two e and uh, three e and. So it's going to be like you're anticipating uh, the downstroke. You're going to be right before the downbeat, and you're going to. This is also one that you're strumming up. <clears throat> okay, this is an upbeat. So, um, well, in fact, I'll just start slow. Now at 92, with a click, get the get the 16th going. Just just mute it. One e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a good. So now in review, um, what you could do is you could take your tempo, whatever tempo you're working at, and maybe alternate bars where you're going uh, on the down beats, on the E of the beat, on the end of the beat, and on the of the beat. Okay, and then at every four bars repeat that. Let's see if I can do that <laughs> without messing up. One, two, three, four. I did two times in a row. A little, you can put a, a, a spacer in between there. You can do a fifth bar where you're just doing the, six, the muted sixteenths like this. One, two, three, four.
try that and see, work on that and see if you can get that down. Turn off this click. We're gonna get real tired of that E flat nine. We, we may change it up a little bit, but uh, in subsequent videos. But I'm gonna do some more. We're gonna we're gonna go to a different, um, a little bit more of a little bit more of a syncopated pattern. Next, uh, the next lesson we'll go uh, take. We'll start simple, and then by the end of that lesson, we will hopefully have down a very common syncopated pattern. And then the next lesson after that, we'll we'll start manipulating the crap out of that one okay all right guys uh hope you're doing well god bless you and we'll talk again soon